Welcome to the Tory Games. We are in our fourth uh, battle right now with Snook versus Submerged. Today we have Kaomi commentating with us. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, um, I'll be helping um, Con here with this match. Um, both of the players have full health at the moment, so um, I think we're going to see some risky plays after all. Indeed, indeed. It looks like Snook is opening up with a knee bending move and it appears uh, submerged. Oh wait, I'm, I've got my characters mixed up. <laughs> Snook is on the left uh, with a blue set. Uh, Submerge is going for the risky move, I believe, here. Yes, he is. Wow. Okay. Yes, uh, um, indeed, um, he can go for the leg grab here, but that leaves him in a quite difficult position since um, Snook's left arm is very easily grabbing his head, making this a fracture fest. A absolutely here. It looks like he's gonna he's gonna definitely go for that grab here and try to pull Snook down towards the ground, but Snook might yet be able to avoid this and he does, but he does give way to his balance and is now flying uh, well in the air, but he does have a head grab, so that might leave him in an advantage, I think. Yeah, I, I don't see Snook being in great danger at the moment. He has a nice split with his legs so he can uh, land very easily. And I think he has the head grab there, so he, he might have the damage advantage very soon. Yes, yes, definitely. Unfortunately, he's used, Submerge is using a pure, a pure user text, so I cannot see his score unless I zoom into the characters. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> People with user, uh, pure user text, oh my god. Okay, so it looks like both players are falling towards the ground. Uh, Snook looking like he's gonna hit first, but he may yet be able to counteract this by raising his left arm. What do you think? Uh, both can own grab at this point, so I don't think there's any... Oh, actually, that was interesting. Um, Snook didn't own grab, and that, I think, costed him the game. He could have own grab um, the head and just um, took the fall a with absolutely. his um, hand butts. Yeah, but he... it might be savable, but I, I, I think that was a like, huge misplay from him. It definitely. He looks like, yeah, he, he he's probably not saving this. Look, he's gone in this one, I think. His yes. elbow, yes, he he's unable to save that, and he has lost his first match against Submerge, leaving the score one point to Submerge and zero to Snook as the first battle continues on into Mushu. So as we wait for the admin to change to Mushu, we'll just uh, think about what has happened. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, um, the game was um, very even until that very unfortunate um, grabbing mistake. Um, it could have gone um, either way at that point, but if you seriously don't ungrab the head and um, just fall to your death, that's kind of your own fault. There wasn't any outplay, it was just a misplay. Yes, definitely. I think he, he, he held on thinking he might end up being in a good position, try to go for the decap. But unfortunately, he decided to hold on. I don't. I don't know why he would. He would hold on. Um, why is she not changing the mod? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think it's time to you take the. Take. There. Oh, there. No, there. Go in charge at the moment. But yeah. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Change to Mushu. So let's see how the Mushu matchup goes. I don't really know either of these players playing Mushu that often or at all, really. Do you know anything about them in Mushu? No, de definitely. My knowledge of Mushu players is very limited. It, but it's, it seems like uh, both are going for quite the safe opener, so we're going to have to see um, which one goes for the initiation first. Um, I, I'm quite sure it's going to be submerged here since um, Stuke might have difficult time like going forward at the moment. Yes, definitely. The, though um, in the previous battles, uh, Snook's move has been used quite quite often, believe it or not. Uh, as for Submerge, I have no idea what move that is. <laughs> At this point, it, <laughs> it, it, it could be anything. This is Mushu, of course, and I, I, I too have no experience in Mushu and only understand a very small amount of it. But yeah, it could, it could end yes, up... Yes, but it looks like... It could... Yeah, but it looks like Snook is going for the launch here. Um, that looked very awkward. Um... But yeah, at this point, it could go the, uh, either way. Um, Snook's right leg could go for the kick, but um, Submerge's hand could be raised in a way that gives him the point advantage. At the moment, I have no idea who's going to come on top of this turn. Um, could be Snook, could be Submerge. De definitely. Look. Oh! Submerge has just taken the leg directly down off of his opponent and put it to the ground, and this will be his second win, I believe. 
Yes, he got the um, hand raised there and it hits almost directly to the joint, which is like crucial. And with this low dismemberment threshold, well, it's 200, but still it's quite low. Um, you can really rip the leg quite easily from there. Yes, indeed. And that was... Okay, it's supposed to be judo fry. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, this admin uh, is... Sorry about 9.3. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so... So we're heading into Judo Frack at the moment with Submerge having two points and Snook being at a disadvantage with zero points. We're heading into the third matchup in the third mod and this could this could either be the end of Snook make, guaranteeing he's lose or he either tries to win up to a tie. What do you, where do you think this is going? Well, um, Judo Frack is a... Oh, what? Oh my god, what happened? That jeez. <laughs> I think he misclicked the hold all, and that really cost him the game. Um, if Snook is like, what, what? Since I think if Submerge is a good spot, he will go for the reset. But we're gonna have to see. I, I, I yes, he indeed he is going for the reset. Let's reset. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was like fair, uh, good sportsmanship from uh, Submerge there. Um, Absolutely. Well, he, I, I suppose he wouldn't want to beat his opponent by his opponent being <laughs> being um, like in in spaced. <laughs> that would yeah. be, yeah. especially on. Uh, a, so let's see what he goes for. Especially on a live event, but yeah, let's see how they open up. And oh, that kick from Snook has just missed, but but it seems Submerge is also in a good position here with a very defensive looking opener. Yes, Submerge has a great opportunity to go for the kick here if he wants to. He can also save it. Um, he's quite well balanced at the moment. Um, Luke just has to get the leg like um, back to this original position. Yes, as he does there. Um, a Submerge go just. Yes, indeed. It looks like Submerge is trying to to land again here. Um, Snook might be going to pull him down into the ground, I believe. I don't know, no one's uh, been fractured yet, <laughs> despite being judo frack. And generally there's a lot of fractures in this mod. Hello? Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Shall we continue? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just rejoining the server. Um, what did I miss? <laughs> um, Actually, you missed um, quite a lot of judo and submerge letting go of Snook, and there's um, a t uh, ten thousand point difference, and the match ended. So, oh yeah, hard to recap judo because it's just like flailing <laughs> around with long turn frames. <laughs> That's not going to be much like um, kicks or anything like that. It's just flailing around. Um, but yeah, we're moving on to the con arena here, and um, con arena is almost the same as kickboxing. So. We're going to see some nice um, dismemberments, hopefully. Absolutely, definitely. So we have Snook and Submerge. I wonder if they have practiced this mod before. The the last, the first three battles, no one had appeared to have practiced the mod, so they were very surprised about a few things that decided to happen. <laughs> it was very surprising. Yeah, I, I think Submerge is. Yeah, I think Submerge is a bit more prepared here. He went for the Taiki on the control opener here, and then went for a kick. Uh, not very rehearsed, I'd still say. But I think like Snook here has almost no idea what he's doing. Well, Snook, um, Snook might. Sure. Snook is using a a Bakshu uh, opener, I believe. So so he's he might be taking the Mushu type of form of this mod and using his arms to kick up and try get his opponent. Well, Submerge was taking the TK in it, I believe. Yes, um, it's still working for Snook. But uh, my, I personally wouldn't have gone for that opener. It's very <laughs> slow, and um, the 19 turn frames isn't like a long time yes, uh, between the turns. But it ended up working. He got the kick straight to the butt, uh, which is also a uh, very sensitive place on Tories as well as humans. So um, he has the <laughs> point lead here and the distance lead as well. Um, Submerge might have a hard time um, catching up to Snook at this point. Yes, indeed. And if he just if he manages to land outside of uh, that square, he you do know that the star is a insta gib uh, floor, which will end up breaking his joints one by one as they touch the ground. Yes, we will have to see if he can get the grab. Um, well, he, it looks like he's going to save it, but I'm not sure if he can get back into the game. Indeed, he does have the knee in the right position. Um, to um, kick himself backwards, but we're gonna have to see if it works out. 
Yes, indeed here. Or oh, unless his foot decides to break off because this mod is really, really hectic on the dismemberment threshold and he could snap his foot off on that floor trying to kick down at this point. We'll have to just see if he gets... Um, little, if, oh, he loses the other foot on the ground outside the platform and has now lost all of his Tori's movements. And let's see how he can try save this. Yes, this is going to be very difficult. He could have, like, technically... Um, done a comeback from the last position but since he failed and kicked his own leg off it's going to be almost impossible right now he doesn't have the position nor the balance he's going to get Indeed. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> well, he's going to get this member anyways. Indeed, indeed. Everything that touches that outer star platform is going to break one by one. So he must be very careful at this point. Um, he's going to lose his other hand here. Preferably, he should have put it in grab because when you have your hand in grab and it breaks off on the floor, it will grab directly back onto your body and you'll be able to still be able to use it in that type of way. Though he looks like he's going to try save it on that outer edge of the ring there and he's face might touch the ground here, I believe. Let's see if he can uh, try avoid... Yes, if he raises the arm fast enough, it, it won't dismember. Ah, oh, it did. And that's the match for now. Um, Snoop didn't lose 4-0, which is always, um, Indeed. always pleasant. So... Indeed. I believe the score is 2-1 at the moment. Am I, am I correct? Um... No, it isn't, actually. This is the last uh, mod. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, it's 2-1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I did miss the judo frack, the end of the judo frack because of a, a, a stupid disconnection. <laughs> but but yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so Snook uh, did win the judo frack one, so that means this could either go for a tie at this point, or, or unless Snook somehow makes a mistake, which I don't think he will, because he'll probably end up grabbing that platform to stay on there. Though as... Yes, yes, um, it's very unlikely that he's going to uh, fail from here. Um, if we will... Um then I'm going to eat my shorts or something like that. Um, <laughs> it's very, very unlucky at this point. Yes, indeed. I, I don't even think he can be able to touch the ground in the next 19 frames at all. Yeah, Submerge, um, I don't know what the score is at the moment. It looks like Submerge actually has a lead in point. No, 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 never mind. I, I, thought, there was yes, an extra, I, I thought there was an extra zero at the end. <laughs> no, Submerge is definitely going to lose this match, I think. And let's... Yes, pure... pure um, pure match tech should be um, banned in tournaments. <laughs> definitely. It's a commentating nightmare. Yeah, definitely, because I have to keep zooming in and it makes it for horrible camera angles to see what the points are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not because you're recording. I get to like, keep the camera on someone's butt at all times. So you have to record the match. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So I have to like either guess what's happening or, or if I really need to see the points, I have to zoom in onto one character just so the points overlay someone. There seems to be a little bit of pinging here, or yeah, and match isn't continuing. Uh, let's see if it will uh, come back soon, and half the server will ping, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the Tory Bash servers have been very um, interesting lately. Yeah, yes. Well, that would be the next gen, um, next gen Tory Bash pros um, don't even need the scoreboard. They could just like sense the scores. <laughs> Everyone playing with pure and knowing what, how much damage they've done. Yes, definitely. Especially at this point with the one guy on the edge of the ring just losing half of his joints and everything. You would assume he would have much less points than the other guy who's perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, amazing things from all the sides, from the Conchon <laughs> side, the player side, from the Cory <laughs> server side. Yes, indeed. A massive ping fest here. Um, waiting for, to see who's going to ping first. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you think uh, um, Snoo uh, Snook's going to be awarded the win either way? I, I can't... Um, I can't um, imagine that um, if he pings, Submerge is going to say that, oh, I won the game. Well, well, Submerge is saying that yeah, he, he will give uh, Snook a rematch if, if he does ping. Oh. <laughs> Which is pretty funny because he's the one losing. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, the, the funny way of saying, like, I'm going to give a rematch, I'm fair, I don't want to win by pinning. <laughs> you <Dude>, were losing. <laughs> Uh, don't try to play the good guy and <laughs> in your rematch. <laughs> Especially since he's in a losing position, but, but damn, yes, wow. Yes, he knows he's losing, but I, I'm going to be fair and give you a rematch here. Like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, it seems Snook is pinging here. Uh, well, Snook is able to send messages, though. Um, so I don't, Oh, so it's someone else. It, 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 I don't know. This doesn't make any sense, because usually when two people are playing, it would either be one of them. Yes, um, I think it's the servers. I think it could be um, 
No, it's not con con since. <laughs> what do you have to do with the server? <laughs> yeah. But I think it's. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so. It seems we have executed a expected all. I'm gonna assume that is a. a draw, obviously, because. Um, having a rematch would just be weird, and we already know where that match went off, and it couldn't have been in separate ways as that was just how it, how it went down. Yes, I think that's that's fair to say to to um there was no way um that um soft merge would have gone back um like done a comeback at that point. Yeah, and yeah. I think it would just be unsportsmanship for Snook to um say that it wasn't um a victory. So um he 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 handled it well said GG Snook, so it was two two. Um the beginning looked quite bad for Snook but he pulled it off in the end. Yes, definitely. He he managed to to bring back the score to a tie. Not no one losing, <laughs> and yeah, they they both still lose two two HP from their health, and so they'll be uh, both standing on eight health points, uh, which is not so bad because uh, losing the next five still means they still have a decent chance uh, at thing if they do manage to lose the next match. But but a tie is always a decent comeback compared to a lose. Yes, and they both were um, at least high belt players, uh, master belt and um, tenth dan. So, if they face up against um, lower belt, less experienced players, they still can really come back and possibly even win the tournament. Yeah, yes, definitely. So it's n nothing's lost for either one of them yet. Absolutely.